Hello everyone, Jason Olay back here again and today we are going to be reacting to a very juicy Marvel Comics video. Now, if you remember last year with the whole New Mutants controversy, it was absolutely hilarious. Not only were those heroes irredeemably bad in terms of their motivations and quality and everything, but the comic or stories themselves were not even released. I failed to look at any bookstore that I went to rarely last year, at least in Barnes and Nobles or any, or look at Amazon or online anywhere, and I cannot find the new mutants on sale. I wonder why, Marvel. I wonder why. But it seemed like Marvel did not learn their lesson, and they doubled down on Children of the Atom trailer. Now, I heard bad things about this trailer, but I did not see the actual trailer itself. I'm actually watching it for the first time, so let's let's do this. I have no hope, but eesh, 2,000 likes and 35,000 dislikes. That is not a good sign, but who knows? Maybe it'll surprise me. Okay, and click play. There's so many things I could tease about Children of the Atom, but I will say one thing, and that's new characters. X-Men is supposed to be something that is, you know, important to the now, and so what is more now than Zoomers? <laughs> Children of the Atom has five new characters at the heart of it that need a very meticulously wrote out entire backstories and histories and families and anything you want to know about these characters, Vita has uh, thought about it already. One of them has a TikTok, one of them has a fitness insta, one of them uh, is basically the moderator for the mutants. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is a cosplayer uh, and the other one makes mutant music. It's for so long, it's like the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but also, you know, it's an X-Men comic book. There's going to be powers, and there's going to be punching, and there's going to be bad guys, and all that kind of stuff. I'm very excited to have Vita Isla and Bernard Chang as part of this title. Oh Bernard really, really brought the thunder on this. It's really incredibly dynamic. Because he not only had to design no. these superhero yeah. identities, but also these civilian identities, and like people's moms, and like their little brother, and he's making these characters real and whole in a way that a lot of artists probably couldn't. X-Men was some of my God. first comics ever, and to be able to play in that universe and also to add to that universe is, is really a dream come true. So if you've never read an X-Men book before and you're only familiar with them in other mediums, this is a great place to start off. It's almost like the kids no. have our perspective, so no. anything that you don't know... It ain't a great place to start off. I don't no. think seen this perspective in X-Men comics before, and I think people are going to super dig it. Yeah, you think people are going to super dig it. Watch this sale. Nothing. In fact, watch this actually get delayed and then just get entirely scrapped out like with the new mutants. Not only are some of these character designs bland, and I'm pretty sure one of them looks like the... looks like that lady. He, like... From the looks of one of the characters, I think it's, yeah, she's in, the character is in, like, the right side wearing purple lady, black lady. She looks exactly like that writer, author, whoever it was, and that just feels wrong. Like, it just feels like you should be a little bit more original than just have your face put into it. Like, just have it be your name in the character. Have yourself be the superhero. But either way, characters being cosplayers, having TikToks, is, you can't make this up anymore. You literally can't make this up. I mean, we, comic book movies have tons 
of comics to take inspiration from. But I doubt future comic book movies, or hopefully not, are going to take inspiration from many of these comic books that are currently being sold today. Because my god, they're terrible. There is a reason why the comic book industry is dying. And it's shit like this. It's shit like this is what is killing the comic book in industry. And Marvel doesn't seem to care. At least Marvel Comics. Marvel Studios and the movies themselves and TV shows are doing fine. But comics themselves, where it all started from, from Stan Lee, is being butchered. The, Stan Lee did not die for this, okay? He did not die for this. Do better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.